And speaking of uh, smart contracts, here's one called Avalanche. And Avalanche, I've been hearing a lot about it and how great it is. And again, I got so many tokens. I'm like, ah, sure, whatever, another smart contract platform. But again, the thing, thing with this is that there's not going to be one winner. There, there's not going to be one winner in the financial institution game, right? We don't go to one place to buy all of our stocks. We don't go to uh, one place to get all our groceries. We don't go to one place to get all our electronics. It's There's a, enough room for everybody. Not everybody. There's an, enough room for uh, multiple entries. So I don't know which one's going to be great. I don't know which one's going to be good. But uh, right now, I have my money uh, in Ethereum and Cardano. And uh, this might be another uh, entry into the mix. It's got to do a little bit more research. So just so you know, when you're taking a look at what's going on, these guys got a lot of things happening. Uh, you've got in incubator program, finance integration, block debt migration, Orion integration. This is a, Orion is a decentralized exchange which uses multiple platforms. So you can trade amongst a ton of different DEXs and, and centralized exchanges and kind of bring everything together for the lowest fees. That is something that uh, we should really take a look at because that sounds awesome, especially if you can get uh, zero fees. Speaking of which, there's another one called Zero, zero Dex, which is, a, they're doing uh, limited uh, fees for exchanges. I don't know much about that. I just heard Alex talk, uh, Masculi talk about it, so I'm not even gonna say much about it. That's all I know. And then more things going on. So again, real quick, um, if you're looking for all these dates and what's going on, this is from a website called Coin Market Cal, and I had uh, been listening to a bunch of different YouTubers. Uh, Jr. Journey Crypto, Jrny Crypto. He's about as uh, straight straight laced as I am, honestly. But he delves a little bit more into uh, you know these lower cap gems. And then uh, so he, it was I, I saw it on his videos first, and then I saw one on Alex Becker, and I was like, I got to use that sometime. So Coin American Cal is great because when you take a look at it, you can just see like this little roll right here. This is where all the number of upcoming events are happening, which is pretty awesome. So you can just like click on a Bitcoin and see what the uh, upcoming event is. And again, if it's big, then uh, you know it'll have this little crown here as far as like the significance of it. So Ethereum. That was a, they read that as a 50, the Binance coin, the burns and all those things, that's about a hundred and then so on and so forth. So when you look at like what projects are hot, look at the ones where they have a lot of upcoming events. Polkadot's got seven big events coming up. Well, 31, pretty good. Uh, Theta has 10 events coming up. So take a look at that. And then uh, what else? There was one else that, that caught me, which was Avalanche. It's got 10 events. That's why I'm talking about it today. I'm like, hmm, they got a lot of things going on. So I had to take a real quick look. This is not a deep dive, uh, but Avalanche, this video right here kind of just sums it up. And I'll link this in the description. This is from their official website. And they're bringing everything together. At least they're trying to. Uh, insurance contracts, Ethereum or different blockchains, collectibles, lending, Bitcoin, income sharing agreements. They also talked about um, securities, stocks, uh, they always talk about, <laughs> I think they even talked about uh, precious metals, uh, just to bring everything together in one centralized place. And it talked about how the market has like $800 trillion sloshing around in these segmented markets. They're very ambitious trying to bring everything together. So is Cardano and so, so are them. So we'll see what happens. But I like this one. First of all, transaction TPS, it's pretty good. You got Bitcoin at seven, Ethereum at 14. E Tendermint, I don't know what that is, 1,000, Avalanche, 4,500, and then some some basic other information that they have uh, over this one. But when we take a look at uh, the price, because what I'm looking for personally as just an investor is something that hasn't already spiked. Like I would never get into Dogecoin at 40, whatever, six cents, whatever. That's crazy. And I think some people are kicking themselves. I think it's down to like 32 cents now. And it might drop even more. But when I look at this, I'm going back, let's just, I mean, we go back to 10th of February and we can even go back even farther. Let's just do this. So yeah, so it was back in the beginning of the year, you're looking at 12, 12 bucks. Boy, I wish we would've got it there, right? And then it went all the way up, probably a launch, mainnet launch or something, $57, 10th of February. But it's been pretty flat down here in the 20s. Then it went all the way up to 37, then it dropped down to 27. And now we're kind of going sideways with a little uptick, 39, then we're down to like 36. So if I'm looking at something to invest in, 
I'm looking at, first of all, I always try to invest in the people as much as I can. I took a look at their team real quick. Looks pretty solid. They got a lot of different financial backers. Then they've got this price action where it hasn't gone all the way to, up to the moon already. And uh, they've got a lot of things coming up. So I will not invest yet, but it is on my radar right now. And again, this is not financial advice. I'm just talking about the things that I know of so you can do your own research and go from there. And that is it for today. So look, uh, if you made this far, I want to say thanks for sticking with me. A lot of things going on in the market. Great time to be in there, I, in my opinion. If you liked the video and got value from it, hit the thumbs up. I would appreciate that. Also consider subscribing. A lot of things to talk about, time sensitive. And that's it for today. So thanks so much. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.